Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Re. If you're having a good time, uh, definitely consider subscribing, liking the video. We'd love to have you here. It's party. Anyway, so today I wanted to share with you guys um, just the Bahamian brands that I love. So for me personally, I love shopping local just because like even when I was in Canada and the States, I love the farmer's market. I love anything that's kind of like local to wherever I'm living. And you know, coming from the Bahamas, I thought it'd be good to just maybe shine some light on some of the local brands that I've been using since I moved back home. Um, these are brands that I've tried, that I've tested, that I love, and that I have, you know, re-approved before I wanted to share with you. Ah, you see what I did there? That was lit! Okay, so with no further ado, we're gonna get started. The first brand I wanted to introduce you guys to was Scented Escape Candles. So I've been using these candles now for like a few months and I really, really like them. Especially when I'm on my, like, you know, tried and true Bath and Body Works candles, those three wicks are heavenly. This is a really good local alternative to get some really nice smelling candles. Like, oh my gosh, this one I have, I think it's my favorite. It's Bahama Bloom. It's it just smells like everything the Bahamas should consist of. Like, I just want to package this up and send it to everybody I know because it's really, really, it smells so good. It smells clean, but then still a little floral. Next, we have um, Tranquility. So this is, so this is one that's very calming. So yeah, this is a very calming scent. I enjoy it. I think it's very relaxing. It's like more of a nighttime scent. So I made sure to get something for the day, something for the night. And these are her year-round scents, by the way. So she also has seasonal scents. I also had her, I got a pumpkin spice. It was very good. And then I think for Mother's Day, did I mention it was around Mother's Day? But yeah, <laughs> for Mother's Day, she has like a Mother's Day signature scent. She's always coming out with seasonal boxes and signature scents. So I really enjoy her. Of course, I'll link everybody's Instagram pages. And I'll also kind of pop up somewhere on the screen the name of the brand just so you guys can check it out for yourselves so next up we have skin craft cosmetics so i ran into this brand at um a Be bahama beauty con i think that's what it's called so i went to bahama beauty con with my girl um and then we came across this brand it's a skin craft cosmetics ultra shine this lip gloss is heavenly i'm wearing it now this lip gloss is so moisturizing I don't know what she's putting in it but apparently it's legal it's very good I think it cost like maybe eight to ten dollars or something like that we bought it I bought one for me and then my friend bought one I'm stuck like she she's won me over by this one lip gloss and she has other things as well lipsticks highlighters lashes lashes all kind of things like it's like a makeup line that's local but Sis Kill whatever formula is in this skin craft ultra shine lip gloss. I'm in love. I love it. Can't take it away. So next up, we have Baham Bahama Handprints. So this was a company that I came across a couple of uh, maybe like December or so. Yeah, I think when they had their factory night, I went to that and I was able to kind of get an inside look at the factory and it was pretty cool. I actually never heard of the brand prior to. So that was a huge insight as the brand that's been around from probably before like in the 19, like early 1900s or so. This brand has been around in the Bahamas and they've been making hand printed, like hand crafted fabrics and all kinds of things like that. So when I came across them, of course I loved it because it was so unique. But the brand also has like pillows, and they have clothing, tumblers, pillowcases. Um, I feel like you name it, they have it. I think passport cases they have as well. But I got this cute gift from them from going to the factory. I love it! It honestly is so, so dope. I've been trying to buy a frame for it, but I cannot find anyone in this size. 
but I really really love it like this and then 2020 is going to be one of those years we're always going to remember because <laughs> of the pandemic so um, I just love it because I'm probably going to highlight maybe those months we were in quarantine and just be able to share that in the future and be like yep 2020 was that year but I love um, the fabric that they have there. I'm definitely considering buying some things in the future, especially some things for my mom. So I just think the quality of their fabric are really good and the story behind it is something you just want to support. Moving on to hair products. Um, Y'all know I'm a natural hair girl, so I had to find a brand that kind of helped me kind of maintain both curls and stuff like that. So of course I went to Curl Fest. I went to that maybe two years ago. What happened to Curl Fest? Anyway. But I went to Curl Fest like two years ago. It was like locally. And I came across this brand called Simply Natural. And she was selling oils. I love me an oil. Oils are key, okay? You need a good oil. You need, you need a good oil. So she had these two oils. These, these are empty because I've used all and I need to replenish them and I'm being lazy. These are empty, but I am obsessed. I'm sorry that they're so beat up. But this is the simple, not simply natural growth oil. It has it's from Maxo Negro. Let's cut that up. Made in the Bahamas. She has olive oil, um, tea tree oil, avocado oil, jojoba oil, and argan oil in this. So all of the good things that make your hair grow are in these oils. So it's just so easy. I can add this to my conditioner. I can just put this on my hair. If I'm taking out my twist. If I'm doing it, I just need some extra oomph. And I want my hair to grow. This is the oil. Then we got the Simply Natural Mint and Almond Oil. This oil just feels amazing. I love it. It's just sweet almond oil and peppermint oil, but the peppermint makes your scalp just feel so tingly. It's just like, yes. So I love our oils. I've been hooked. I think I've restocked. I, I restocked before. This product's good. I don't know if she's making it by hand. She probably is. I don't want the energy to be whipping it in the kitchen, so she does it for me and I will pay her and I love it. It's amazing. Like if you're in the Bahamas, I think she also has a site, so international shipping is welcome. By the way, all of these brands, you can definitely reach out to them. I'm sure they offer international shipping, um, just, I'm sure they'll offer international shipping to anybody who's in the States or who's in Canada and they want to try them out or if you're in a different Caribbean country and you want to test out these brands, definitely shout out, reach out to them. Like I think they'll definitely, who doesn't want money? <laughs> That's a mood. Money is always a mood. Okay. But yeah, another brand I wanted to touch on was uh, this brand I came across, I think on Instagram to be honest, but this brand is called Paradise Apothecary. Is it apothecary or apothecary? Lord, I don't know. Paradise apothecary is what I want to say. Okay, but paradise apothecary. I'm not sure how to pronounce the A word. Please pay for me. But it's their bronze whipped butter. It's very good. This is what I've been using in all of my summer glow um, picks from last year. When traveling was a thing. This was in my suitcase. And before I go to the beach, before I go anywhere, I'm rubbing she on because she's very moisturizing. First of all, shea butter. It's whipped shea butter. So the moisture is there. Then it has shea butter, coconut oil, sweet almond oil. She has essential oils, our arrowroot powder. It's all the good stuff are in here. And because it's a bronze whipped butter, when you slide that on, you're glowing. You're glowing, period. You're just glowing. I mean, you're shining. I love it. <sighs> Instagram photos, just on everything. Pow. That's the type of glow you want. And the final brand I want to talk to you guys about is Balif. It's probably pronounced Balif. Um, so this is a tea brand that I love. So I actually got the opportunity to try some of their, like two of their teas um, in a Bay Hungry episode. So for those who don't know, Bay Hungry is a local food and restaurant show that I do with my older brother. Um, so I'll link that channel there if you guys want to check them out. But if you guys want to check us out, sorry, and just look at some videos. But I'll also link in the description box the video I'm talking about where we reviewed by um, Bali. Where we reviewed Bali. And it was... Y'all, that's some good tea. Like, I like Tivana. It's Tivana was like probably my state's go-to. And then when I was in Canada, it was like David's tea. David's tea, call 911. Never forget.
but um but on the calendar is Davis Tea. I'm just a tea girl. I'm really a tea and a coffee girl, but I'm a tea girl for sure. And moving home, who the, I didn't even know local people were making teas like this. Leaf's tea is like, their teas are really, really good. The ones I love are the Mango Green Tea. Who doesn't love a Mango Green Tea from the Bahamas? Come on. And then Turmeric Fruit Medley. No hard is to get. That was like the best tasting turmeric tea I've ever tasted. So those teas were really, really good. Definitely would recommend trying these out. So yeah, guys, that's all the brands I have to talk to you about today. These are the brands that I've loved, that I've tested, that I've found over like the two, three years I've mean, been at home that I keep on going back to because they're that good. So if you guys want to try these brands out, definitely hit up their IG, hit up their websites, you know. Most of them probably do international shipping, so that's pretty dope. Yeah, I just wanted to share these things, with these products with you and these brands with you because I think it's so important, especially now with COVID-19, we really need to support the smaller businesses, especially the minority-owned businesses, no matter where you are in the world, like no matter where you're living. Um, these are the businesses that, are, in my opinion, are going to be affected the most by um, COVID-19. So it's important for us to kind of always kind of support our own or support the local businesses and just kind of give back. I was reading something today and I was saying something about how $50 in a hand of like this multi conglomerate like Colgate or Walmart or something, $50 is small. But when you have a small business or when you're a small business owner, $50, that's a lot. That pays bills and that basically supports support someone's dreams and someone, someone's dreams and someone's side hustle or someone's full-time hustle on entrepreneurship but yeah thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video just comment down below let me know what's your favorite local brand or shop where you live i'd love to know and i'll see you guys in the next video bye so it's oh, yeah, like i'm a savage yeah, yeah. crazy bougie ratchet then little wacky face crazy no is recording that old time, by the way. No! Yeah, it was. Bloopers! <laughs> so it's important to be the light of your day. Get up. <laughs>